Good morning, Pisces. And um, I am here with a general reading, with a general reading for the sign of Pisces. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart. Hello, my beautiful friends. I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. I welcome you here and I'm glad you're here. All right, let's go ahead and um, see what's currently here. What's in the current energy for the sign of Pisces? What's in the current energy for the sign of Pisces, please? What's in the current energy for the sign of Pisces? What is in the current energy for the sign of Pisces, please? What is in the current energy for the sign of Pisces? What is in the current energy for the sign of Pisces? What is in the current energy? Current energy for the sign of Pisces. Incoming energy for Pisces, please. Incoming energy the next seven to ten days or the next couple of weeks or whenever Pisces is, is really drawn to watch this to watch this reading. Um, please get please give us this next wave of energy. Um, that the Pisces will be moving into the next wave of energy that Pisces will be moving into, please. The next wave of energy, the next future that Pisces will be moving into. I'm going to go ahead and leave that card. I'm on the current energy. The next wave of energy that Pisces will be moving into. Pisces, that card just landed so beautifully on that stack. I'm going to have to leave it there. Next incoming wave, next incoming wave for the sign of Pisces. What will Pisces be stepping into next? What will Pisces be stepping into next, please? What will Pisces be stepping into next? What will Pisces be stepping into next, please? What will Pisces be stepping into next? All right. Guidance, please, for the sign of Pisces. Guidance, please. For this group of Pisces people, for this tribe of the Pisces, please give us some guidance now for Pisces. For Pisces. Please give us some guidance now for the Pisces people. Some guidance now. Guidance now for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces, please. There we go. Okay, Pisces, let me lay this out and we'll get going here with this reading for you. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Hermit Energy, and the World in Reverse. This was a card that flew in, remember, um, when I was looking um, to get information here for the current energy, this energy flew in, landed directly on the current energy, and it is in the reverse. So let me get into this energy here. Um, give me one moment, Pisces. Can ask for clarification on the Seven of Cups. Clarification for the Seven of Cups, please. Jeez. Came out really hard. Ooh. What's happening here, Pisces? What's happening here for you? Okay, let me get this reorganized. I think it's worth it to take a little bit of time and, and for me just to be careful. Um, I felt this as I was going into the energy, but 
Um, I just want to be careful sometimes. Um, I was asked to delay to do this reading. And there, there's a reason this reading was delayed for a couple of week, uh, for a couple of days. Maybe it was delayed for a couple of weeks for some of you. <sighs> well, Pisces, this is for a group of you where there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning starting up here. And it's a new beginning that you're protecting. As I'm getting into the energies, it seems a little bit complicated. It seems like there are puzzle pieces here um, that are beginning to come together for me. It's taking me a little while to get into this energy, which tells me that the energy could be um, complicated or it could be a bit denser, which tells me that you could be worried about this. You could be worried and anxious about this, but you're in a very protective, you're in a very protective energy. There is new love here. We have the Ace of Cups. There's a new love of life, or there's a new love of a person. There's a new love of a child or, or something here that, that there's a new love revolving around. But there's a lot of ways that this can go. There's a lot of different paths that this can lead down. And at this point in this process, there are some bits of the puzzle that haven't quite fallen into place yet. And you're protecting that. You're protecting that beginning. You're protecting that. Um, you're protecting the building of this situation. You're protecting the creation of it. You're protecting the potentiality of it. There's a lot of possibility here. It's just beginning. It's just beginning. You're just creating in here. So we have the Empress here next to the Ace of Cups. You're just barely creating it. It's just in the creation. Again, oh my gosh. You're okay. Pisces, I'm getting into it now. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for the story, Pisces? Because it's coming. Um, you're, you're, you have the Empress energy and the King of Wands energy here with the Ace of Cups. So you're just beginning to create this. It's a very creative energy. Whether this is a situation that you're stepping into and you're beginning to build with someone else, or this is a product that you're building, or some kind of life you're creating for yourself is a very creation energy and you're in a very balanced place re re regarding the creation. All right, where there's a where there's an energy shift is in the outer world, in the environment around you. There is some sort of edginess in the environment around you, or some type of off energy. Uh, maybe it's with the community around you. Maybe it's with the work environment. Uh, maybe it's with um, your family in some way. But there is an energy here that's not meshing. The energy. Oh, sorry, you can't see my hands. But like the energies are at different vibrations. Something is off. And that's why it took me a little bit of time to get into this scenario. So something is off. You're creating something beautiful. Something that you're just starting. It's, it's new love, perhaps. And well, it is new love. That is for sure. That is absolutely for sure. It's new love. Now, love is a big word. The hearts we carry in us and the soul that we live in. Um, it can love in so many different ways, my beautiful friends. So for me to just determine right now that this is a love affair or um, this is a new job, it, it the energy of love is around this. We have the Empress here, which tells me of internal balance, the ability now to create something profoundly beautiful in your lives, right? Having the balance, having the clarity of what you're walking towards having the passion within yourself to give you that momentum so that you can actually take the steps, having the willpower so that you can put one step in front of the other and having the love for self that whatever is being built is being built um, with an awareness of the fulfillment that it brings to the self and the awareness of the health that it brings 
to the community, to the space around you. So there's awareness here, there's balance here, there's love and passion here that you're stepping forward in. You have the King of Wands here, so there could be a fiery masculine energy that you're connecting in with. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Could be anyone who is in the public eye, who is an influencer, who is a creator, who goes into spaces and fixes them, revives them, builds on them. Um, could be anyone who steps out in front of a cause or steps out in front um, of a company or steps out in front of a group of people and represents those people. Could be that type of a person, but it doesn't have to be a person, my friends. It can be an energy that you're stepping into in this creation energy. It could be the internal balance of the Empress and the external workings, the external power of the King of Wands. So you will need to take this story here, if this is resonating with you, and sort of fit it to how these energies fit in, in your own life, in your own experience. But whether it is a person or whether this is you in a very balanced way, internally and externally here, you're working to protect this. You're standing in the protection of it. And we have the protection energy coming in right underneath the Queen of Swords, the element within us that is a protector, that is the warrior that is within each and every one of us. It is a warrior of expression. It is the warrior of words. It's the warrior of wit. Um, and it is a warrior that can, um, that can draw the lines, can slice the energy, um, can really use the sword of truth, use the sword of the tongue, use the sword of the mind to create um, a space of safety for whatever this is that you're creating. All right, this is just a very small period of time, Pisces. So I know I'm in these energies and I know I can be dramatic. So um, the, these energy, this situation can be smaller than what I'm getting into. Um, this could be um, something at work that you are um, developing and you're wanting to continue to develop it before you bring it to an advisory committee. You're wanting to manifest it just a little bit more. You're wanting to research just a little bit more. You're not wanting to bring it out into the forefront yet. You're not wanting to have um, people change the energy, bring in questions that might influence the, the initial manifestation of what this is. Sometimes the energy of creation can get muddied by the intentions and the agendas and the fears and the insecurities of others. So it could be something like that. It could be a new relationship, somebody new that you just met um, that could be slightly different, or it could be a different kind of experience that you're wanting to um, just experience that for a little bit longer before you um, bring this to your friends or to bring it out wider into the community. But whatever this is, um, this, this is for um, the next incoming wave of energy. You're preparing now for the next incoming wave of energy, and this is currently what's happening. So you're in the middle of this process. You're at the beginning of the middle of the creation. You're at some sort of, of beginning point, establishment point of whatever this new love is for you. This new inspiring heart energy that you're in right now. Then we have the hermit energy here with the world in reverse. So it feels like to me that this beginning is just coming into play. Is just coming into play. You're, you are perhaps working with a Virgo energy or working with an energy um, around you of rationality, of, of um, precise details of this, of the gauges and the temperatures um, and the scales and the ratios of whatever this is. Um, this could be a person that's carrying this energy of rational detail, or you could be um, coming out with this idea or protecting the idea or, or working to protect how you're going to bring this forward into the community at large or how you're going to bring this forward into the company. Again, this is in a very early stages of manifestation. So this energy here, this right here, is even slightly 
in flux as we speak. So you're defending, you're in a very defensive energy about whatever this new love is. You're defensive about it. You could be defensive towards someone who's a Virgo or towards someone who is a teacher or a mentor in your life. Could be a father, could be a brother, um, could be um, a sister, but someone in your life that is very wise, is a teacher that maybe perhaps you look up to. You could be um, defending against that person and to defend against a hermit energy to get to, to defend um, this new love to someone who is very wise and enlightened um, is, is a, is a task that you do not take lightly, right? You, you could also have this energy now of really um, expressing yourself very carefully, um, determining the exact words to use, determine the exact language to use as you bring this forward into the community because a hermit energy is coming out with some idea coming out with a new way of walking coming out um, from a period of creation a period of isolation a period of deep reflection and coming outside into the community um, with something or with something new a new way of walking a new way of believing um, so so there is an energy here for many of you now, there is an energy here of really focusing in now on how you're going to express what this means to you, how you're going to bring it forward to, to a larger community, your department where you work or your family. Um, it is the crafting of the language. It is the crafting of the expression of how you describe what this love is, how you market what this love is how you express it to the to the wider world around you this love that we see here this something new that you that you're just warmed and inspired um, by that you are creating at this time and the world is in reverse which tells me um, that it hasn't been totally expressed yet it hasn't been brought forward yet it's just in the stage of creation so for the, this group, this, whatever this love is that you have here could even be a, a brand new pregnancy, right? It could be so many different things. It could be, um, a new family pet. It could be a new home or a new walk or a new life plan or a new business. Something that brings in a lot of love, fills you with love, fills you with emotional bliss. Um, it's something that fills your heart in a way where your heart can expand the body and become larger than the body. That kind of feeling here with Ace of Cups. Let's see um, what you how, how, let's see how you progress as you move into the future. Let's see how you progress here. How am I gonna? Two of Cups, wow. Chariot. Ten of Pentacles. The Fool. Six of Wands. Queen of Wands. Hierophant. Pisces, this is big. We have the Two of Cups, which is a partnership. Partnership of two lovers, partnership of two soulmates, partnership of two businesses, partnership of two companies, or two countries, or two continents, partnership, a soul connection, partnership, something that touches the soul within of both parties, could be neighbors even, could be co-workers, but whoever these two individuals are, or these two communities, these two groups of people, they're connected in a deep emotional way. There's either a cause that pulls them together, a soul thread that pulls them together, a child that pulls them together, 
It's something emotional. It's something connected with the soul. And it's something that fills the heart. Could be a lover, could be a business partner, could be a child. The connection of two souls, the connection of two communities, the connection of two groups of people connecting together in a very heartfelt way. This is moving forward quickly into some sort of formation because we have the chariot energy with the six of wands over the top. The six of wands covers the two of cups and the six of wands covers the chariot. So there's passion here. There's forward movement. There's powerful forward movement. There's no stopping this. Six of wands is rising above the crowd, accepting a challenge, handing, holding out your hand to grab that torch and to move forward. And it's something that you're embracing as you claim it. You're holding it high above your head as you move forward. It's something that you can be seen to be holding. You can be seen to be standing in. And it's something that will gain you respect because that's the Six of Wands energy. And the Six of Wands energy is covering the Two of Cups, which is this partnership, and the Chariot, which is powerful, balanced movement forward. Cancer energy. We have... Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius again. We have Taurus energy here. But it's moving forward. This world that was in reverse is now beginning in the next upcoming period of time to flip and to come out into a new cycle. We have the Queen of Wands here playing a part in this story. This is a person. Could be you. Could be the other person doesn't have to be female. But if I describe this person, I see someone here in their full confidence, in their full strength. This person knows his or her value. This person knows his or her own power. This person is using currently their superpowers. They know what their superpowers are, and they stand up tall in the use of them. Now, the Queen of Wands also knows what her weaknesses are. She knows what her weaknesses are, and she has learned how to manage her weaknesses. So this is somebody who has looked at her shadow and likes herself and loves herself and wants to bring beautiful new futures into her reality. And she's fiery and she's passionate, and nothing can stop her at this time. This has to do with her safety and her security, the abundance in her life, the success and the comfort that she um, is working to achieve because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. That's what she's looking for. Long-term stable relationship, an abundant financial future, longevity in family and in financial success. She knows what her dreams are. She knows how to walk towards them and she's willing to put it all on the line because what she's gambling here, what she's risking is the 10 of pentacles. She's laying it all out there, my friends, with the 10 of pentacles. Then we have the higher font on top of the 10 of pentacles and on top of the fool. So I'm going into the higher font energy. I feel like this plan or, or this new opportunity, this new business, this new love affair, whatever this is, fits within societal structures, fits within societal structures, fix, fits within the formalities of a religious belief or cultural belief, fits easily within that. It's not something that will decry the laws of man. It is something that will fit within the laws of man. Or it is something that is being created with the help of the spiritual team, with the help of formality within societies. This hierophant could also be a large company, a large group of people, 
a university, a church, even a cultural, um, even a cultural center or a, a center in my mind. They're showing me a picture of a whole group of people surrounded by a building or surrounded by a symbol, surrounded by something that holds people together, societal structure. Okay. Societal structure. There is a new journey here with a fool. But within this structure, within this company, or within this religion, or within this educational system, there is a process. There is a structure that can help to hold it in place. This could be looking at an engagement or a marriage. This could be looking at some kind of contract that's signed um, between two communities or between two companies. It could be a contract of some kind, but it could also be a way of thinking, a way of believing, a way of working with man, how man and women, how people, how humans can work together um, to all move in the same direction with the same goal in mind. But even in that structure and even in that formality, there is something new that's happening here with the fool energy, a new journey a new chapter, a new walk, a new relationship, a new religion. Something new here because we have the fool and the fool takes risks. A fool does something different. A fool steps out on a new path, perhaps with a lack of resources or a lack of finances or even a lack of followers but there is a stepping out here and the fool is stepping out towards the 10 of pentacles. As we see lifting the hand to the 10 of pentacles saying this, this is what I present to you. This is what I propose to you. This is what I can offer. This is what I can bring. This will be my story. And the higher font lays on top. So it is something that lives within a certain structure. It is something that is managed by a certain group or assisted by a certain group or by a certain, could even be a religious leader or an ascended master. For many of you, there is a deep um, energy here. I feel the deepest energy, the, the most powerful energy I feel with the higher font is religion, the structure of a culture, the structure of a belief system. And there is, I keep being drawn to this triangle in the higher font. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a triangle here pointing upward with a radius around the head. I'm being drawn to that, to those shapes and to the star here within. So I'm being drawn to the star. So I'm being drawn to the star. I'm being drawn to the triangle and I'm being drawn to the circle. I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see. This is what I'm being drawn to. So can you see the star there? There's a star imprinted. Then there is a triangle. And then there is a circle around the head. It's those symbols that I'm being guided to. There's something very deep and profound. Um, that goes into deep within a culture, deep within a land, deep within a people. So whatever you're doing here is something new, but it fits within society. It fits within the rules of man, but it is led with the guidance from above. The higher font is, is, is very important in this reading because it's got me for a while, hasn't it? I've stayed in this energy for a while. So um, whatever this higher font represents here could be a person, could be a Taurus. But I think for many of you, um, it is a society or a religious system or a formality of tradition, a contract. Um, and it's this contract that helps. It is this, what I've explained now three or four times. I, I don't want to keep, I can repeat myself and I know that I can. It is this higher font that is helping connect this new journey with the success 
with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's look to see um, what the guidance is. What is the guidance, please? What is the guidance, please? Guidance, please. High Priestess, higher font. I felt it earlier. Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Hanged Man. Well, we, we have another sign of a partnership here because we have the High Priestess coming out. And I stayed for quite a while in the higher font energy. And the High Priestess and the higher font are counterpart energies. The, the High Priestess is the internal energy. <clears throat> and the higher font is the, external, is the external energy. So we have the High Priestess here. This could be a Pisces energy. Could be. But the High Priestess is an energy of divine connection, powerful knowing, deep wisdom, connecting into the divine, connecting into spiritualism or the religion in which you find yourself. It is an energy of quiet intensity. The high priestess is very careful with whom she shares information. She's very careful in the words that she says. She's very divinely guided. She understands her own wisdom. She understands the guidance that she receives and where it comes from. And she can find the answers most often with her own self, with a select few of those who are around her. She picks her friends very wisely. She picks her advisors very carefully because she has a very intuitive sense of health around her. She is a spiritual master, and it's a card of quiet reflection. It's the energy of careful words, careful expression, secrecy, timing of information, timing of the release of something. So the guidance that's coming forward is um, find that solace, find that quiet space, connect in with the energy that brings you strength with the source energy that brings you guidance, connect in, in the quiet, determine your plan of action, determine who you will speak to and who you will share to, understand who your friends are, who is there with a pure intention and who is there with an agenda that might be different from your own because we have the high priestess here next to the seven of swords. So there is a need for protection, and that energy did come out. There is a need for protection. There is a need for some sort of revised action here. There is a need for stealth, for quiet, for change. But it's not change. It's not revision. That is... Um, Something within yourself, you're changing. You're changing a process. You're changing a person, the type of person who you are that you're connecting to, the type of religion that you hold or that you're connecting to. There's something you're changing here, but it's a change that happens within. It's a change that happens within. It's something new that happens here because of some sort of, Oh, and we have the hangman. That's what I was feeling. All right, that makes sense to me. It's some sort of inner revision, inner belief system change, a plan change, something that you're changing up, and others may not like it, or others may need to take some time to absorb this change. So there is um, guidance here to be very careful now at this point in time to not allow others to influence something precious that you have in your hand to be very divinely guided, to be connecting into your own quiet, to not allow anyone else to influence you at this time, to connect in with your God, your source energy, that which brings you guidance, and to find solace and, and wisdom in that energy, because there's something here you're changing, changing up your plan, changing your business, changing up your walk, and it's something that you're so in love with, you're so inspired by, 
it's something to be treasured now, something to be protected, because it is something that you're changing. And you're changing because of past hurts, past traumas, past experiences that have taught you a revised course in life, a revised course in your belief system, a revised course um, in your in your mindset and your plan ahead. We do have the Page of Pentacles here. So there is guidance here that you will soon begin to see indications of some sort of new stability or new plan or new success. On the Page of Pentacles, it can be a message of something that's tangible, something you can hold in your hand, or it can be some kind of a small indication of some kind of success that's coming in. So there could be something here that happens to you in the upcoming period of time that helps you kind of get your handle on this, that helps you um, create a path forward, some kind of information or some kind of small gift or indication of success or indication of something that is tangible is going to help you as you come forward. Um, this could be a message from someone or a gift from someone or some sort of platform um, that you are being given in order to express yourself. Um, it's something tangible here is coming forward in the in the in the next period of time that will help you that will help you in bringing this forward that will help you in continuing to manifest this i think it's by someone that is not you so there's someone out there in your environment within your family or within your workplace that's going to step in or step up or approach you with some sort of assistance in this um, whether it is um, a platform that you can stand on whether it is um, some sort of message that gives you confidence or gives you um, a way forward, but there is something here, a tangible gift, could be a small amount of money, um, could be the platform, they keep showing me a platform. Like if you have something that you're going to release, information that you're going to release, maybe um, you, you find a way of expressing this over the airwaves or um, there's some sort of media release um, or some sort of vehicle in which you can um, send out a notification. There's something here that helps you move forward um, towards a successful new beginning. And it's something that you can see, touch, feel. So it's something that is an actual help. It's not a message of love. It's not a new idea, right? It's not new learning. It's something new, a gift or a message or a platform or something that actually helps you and moving forward. We have the hanged man here. So um, there is guidance here to be patient, to take your time. It doesn't have to be hurried. This doesn't have to be a process that is hurried along. It can take its time. When we have the hanged man, um, the hanged man is an energy of delay, but it's an energy of helpful delay. It's a, it's a delay that the universe is bringing forward to help you in the further creation of this or in the further of the understanding of this. It's a delay that asks you to relax, that asks you to accept this time of waiting, the time of creation, as a time that is being given to you to perfect whatever this is, to spend a little bit more time in the creation of it, to spend a little bit more time perfecting it, to spend a little bit more time um, building it so that when it does move out into the public with the Six of Wands and the Chariot Energy, it is built right. Um, it doesn't have any squeaks or rattles as it moves forward into the future. It, it, the, there are no cracks that will break apart and crumble so that it's built strongly, it's created well, it has been started in a healthy way. So it looks like there could be some sort of small delay here or something that could make help you you could feel slightly impatient with the process but they're saying that there is some more work to be done or, or some more creation um, that you will do in the next upcoming period of time that is actually needed um, before you bring this new beginning here out into the community at large whatever that is Okay, Pisces, um, I am going to move now. I'm going to take a short break, and I'm going to move into the extended. And in the extended, I am definitely going to look at, into the world energy. I'm going to be going down rabbit holes. I'm going to be going deeper into these energies to see what I can pull out here. 
Um, oops, I bumped the camera. Let me see what I want to do. Definitely going to go into this, this project here or this new love affair, this new um, Ace of Cups that's here. I'll definitely go deeper into that. I want to go into this Queen of Swords to see what the Queen of Swords is saying. I'm going to go into the Fool energy and the Ten of Pentacles energy. So these are the energies I'm going to go deeper in. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. All right, Pisces. So um, I'm going to go into these five energies deeper. And then I'm going to look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. All right. Thank you all very much, Pisces. Thank you for your patience. I know it took me a couple of days longer to get this reading to you, but for some reason, um, life kept happening. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to meditate and to get to, into this space until now. And um, I, I think it was all, it was all probably all intentional. All right. Thank you all very much, my beautiful friends. Thank you.